Peter says this, truly I understand that God shows no partiality. Now partiality is, is a powerful word. Partiality means favoring one over another. So partiality goes beyond mere exclusion. Exclusion says, no, not that, but this. Partiality says, I prefer this, but I'm also going to accept this. Peter says God shows no partiality. God doesn't favor one person or type of people over another. God doesn't say, and Peter realizes this, God doesn't say, I love Jews, I prefer Jews, but if Gentiles are going to come in, that's okay. No, God shows no partiality. God doesn't say, I love Canadians, I prefer Canadians, but if Asians come, that's okay. Or, I love Chinese and I prefer Chinese, but if other people come, that's okay. No, God has no partiality. There is no preference among all the tribes, nations, and languages of this world where God says, these people are better or I prefer them more than others. That challenges the heart of anyone who embraces types of racism, types of ethnocentrism where you think your nationality or your country or your culture is better than others. It challenges all of that. And Peter says, I realize that God shows no partiality. No partiality except this. In every nation, anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There's no wall between Jew or Greek or between any other nations or culture groups. There's neither slaves nor free. There's no wall between those who are slaves or those who are free. There's no male or female. There's no wall of partiality that God prefers males over females or females over males. No, you are all one in Christ Jesus. Jesus broke down this dividing wall of hostility. If you're in Jesus Christ, if you live by faith in Jesus Christ, then everything God has promised in Scripture belongs to you. And you can hold on to it joyfully and confidently with great humility, understanding the grace of God for you. This is important, beloved. Important for you to stand in confidence before God, not because of who you are or what group you associate with, but because of Jesus Christ and who he is. It's important for you to come to Christ in that confidence, as Peter says, having received the same faith, the same faith for me and for you, regardless of where you are from. It's important for you to be able to stand confidently before the throne of God, and it's also important for you to love others without partiality. showing no preference to love one over the other, but rejoicing that there is one Lord over all.